Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com, news on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. This podcast was sponsored by cryptocurrency payment technology Flip, a creation of FitPay Inc., a leading provider of cutting-edge payment technology and a subsidiary of NextID, traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol NXTD. NextID is a provider of healthcare devices as well as payment credential management and authentication platform services. Learn more about how to order Flip at fliptopay.com. And Crypto Corner is also sponsored by Genesis Blockchain Technologies, or GBT. GBT is a powerful cryptocurrency centralized decentralized exchange, which will include a broad range of services and benefits from cryptocurrency and blockchain markets development, while avoiding complications and risks arising from cryptocurrency ownership, transfer, and exchange. You can download the Genesis Exchange and Wallet app at Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Learn more at www.mygenesis.io. Hey folks, Sam Mowers here, back with another Crypto Corner to start the week. Over the weekend, the market continued to surge, setting trading price records for the year. Also, the Bank of International Settlements released its annual report, looking at the pros and cons of big tech and finance, such as Facebook's Libra Coin project. And speaking of that, Ethereum co-founder Joe Lubin has written a piece going after Libra Coin. So continuing the momentum seen on Friday, the crypto market surged over the weekend, bringing total market capitalization to $328 billion U.S. at press time, and that's according to data from CoinMarketCap. That is an increase of about $26 billion. Bitcoin peaked with a trading price of around $11,200 on Sunday, which set a new record high for this year and is currently trading for about $10,900, up about $1,000 from the beginning of the weekend. Bitcoin still dominates the market with a market cap of $193 billion, while Ether and XRP lead altcoins with market caps of $33 billion and $20 billion, respectively. The Bank for International Settlements released its annual report for 2019 in which it examines the risks and benefits of big tech companies entering the payment space. This includes Facebook's Libra cryptocurrency project. Facebook, by the way, is traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol FB. On the benefits of tech giants entering finance, the report notes, quote, Given their size and customer reach, big tech's entry into finance has the potential to spark rapid change in the industry. It offers many potential benefits. Big tech's low-cost structure business can easily be scaled up to provide basic financial services, especially in places where a large part of the population remains unbanked. Using big data and analysis of the network structure in their established platforms, Big techs can assess the riskiness of borrowers, reducing the need for collateral to assure repayment. As such, big techs stand to enhance the efficiency of financial services provision, promote financial inclusion, and allow associated gains in economic activity. End quote. In balancing these potential benefits, the report notes that quote, regulators need to ensure a level playing field between big techs and banks, taking into account big techs' wide customer base access to information, and broad-ranging business models, end quote. And an article on Quartz from Ethereum co-founder Joe Lubin criticizes Facebook's Libra project as a, quote, centralized wolf in a decentralized sheep's clothing, end quote. Lubin argues that Libra's reliance on its basket of currencies, government regulators, and initial backers make it antithetical to the decentralized nature of cryptocurrencies. Quote, Perhaps most importantly, it requires our trust that Libra will eventually transition to a more permissionless, decentralized system whereby anyone can validate the network rather than restrictive membership evaluation criteria, keeping control in the hands of the initial 28 firms. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. 
Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. For disclosure purposes, NextID is a PR news and social media featured company on InvestorIdeas.com.